Hey y'all, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to check your alternator using your uh, multimeter. Um, so uh, you may have seen my video on how to replace your battery, um, but uh, this video I'm actually going to show you how to check your alternator. Alright, so every time that I change my uh, battery, I always check my alternator to make sure it's charging. Um, so in order to do that, the car actually has to be running. Uh, but I'm going to show you here um, on the multimeter uh, what your battery should read. Um, so first thing is your battery is going to be DC. So you want to make sure that your multimeter says DC. Uh, AC is going to be like testing the stuff in your wall, in your house and stuff. You see AC right there. Um, so we're going to be on DC because this is direct current. It stands for direct current. Okay. So what you do is you, you touch your leads. Um, and right here, you see my battery. I'm touching the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative. Um, and my voltmeter is reading 12.8. Okay, so that's that's normal um, for a battery. Um, so now we're going to turn on the car um, and see what it's reading. If it, if the alternator is charging, it's going to read 13.6 or something like that. So let's see what we got. All right, so the vehicle's now running. Um, so let's put a lead to the positive side and see what we got here all right so we got 13.7 okay looks good so my battery um, needed to be replaced and uh, checking my alternator to make sure that it's charging properly and we're reading 13.7 um, so that means the alternator is charging and that everything's good if the alternator was not charging it would still say something like 12.8 or maybe even less um, the alternator on this 2003 4Runner is actually right down there. Um, I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's right under the uh, fender well of the, there it is, right there, that's the alternator. Um, so it's actually right underneath the passenger right side top. Um, but yeah, so basically that's all you have to do to check your alternator using the multimeter. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful.